India-based Neutrino Observatory is a particle physics research project under construction to primarily study atmospheric neutrinos in a 1,300 meters (4,300 feet) deep cave under Eno Peak near Theni, Tamil Nadu, India. This project is notable in that it is anticipated to provide a precise measurement of neutrino mixing parameters. The project is a multi-institute collaboration and one of the biggest experimental particle physics projects undertaken in India. The project was originally to be completed in 2015 at an estimated cost of 1500 crore rupees has been cleared by the Ministry of Environment India for construction in the Badi West Hills reserved forest in the Theni district of Tamil Nadu. Although delayed, the project is underway as of 2015. When completed, the main magnetized iron calorimeter ICAL experiment will include the world's largest magnet, four times larger than the 12,500 ton magnet in the compact muon solenoid detector at CERN in Geneva, Switzerland. <laughs> iron calorimeter ICAL detector The main experiment proposed at ENO is the iron calorimeter detector which aims to probe the earth matter effects on the propagation of atmospheric neutrinos and to determine neutrino oscillation parameters in the 2 to 3 oscillation sector. ICAL will be a 50,000 ton magnetized detector with iron as the passive detector element and resistive plate chambers RPCs as the active detector elements. IE the neutrinos will interact with the iron to produce final state particles. The RPCs will detect those final state particles which have charge and will record the signals and these signals which have position and timing information will help us reconstruct the tracks and or showers and thus the energy and directions of the final state particles and also the incident neutrino. The ICAL design is mostly based on the monolith detector 1. ICAL detector will have three modules, each module will have 151 layers of iron and 150 layers of RPCs, stacked one over the other. The dimension of the entire detector will be 48 meters by 16 meters by 14.5 meters. The detector, owing to its huge size will require around 30,000 glass RPCs for the purpose of charged particle detection. ICAL being a neutrino detector will be situated underground to reduce the cosmic ray muon signal. The location of Eno has attracted a lot of attention from the neutrino physics community as the distance between Eno and CERN is very close to magic baseline", a distance at which the effect of the CP phase on the measurement of theta 13 is minimal. But the major physics advantage of eno ical is its ability to measure neutrino mass hierarchy via studying atmospheric neutrinos. Currently ICAL is the only proposed magnetized detector which can resolve mass hierarchy via studying the survival of muon neutrinos and antineutrinos. The primary goals of the ICAL are the following Unambiguous and precise determination of neutrino oscillation parameters using atmospheric neutrinos. Study of matter effects through electric charge identification, that may lead to the determination of the unknown sign of one of the mass differences. Study of charge conjugation and charge parity CP violation in the leptonic sector as well as possible charge conjugation, parity, time reversal CPT violation studies. Study of Kohler events, possible identification of very high-energy neutrinos and multi-muon events. Unlike monolith experiment, ICAL detector will have iron plates of thickness 5.6 cm in as passive detectors, with glass RPCs in between as active detectors. A prototype of the ICAL detector with 14 layers, measuring 1 meter times 1 meter times 1 meter is already operational in the VECC, Kolkata. The 35-ton prototype is set up over ground to track cosmic muons. In 2008, Eno started a graduate training program leading to PhD degree in high-energy physics to provide expert training to students in the areas of detector building and neutrino physics. Location The originally proposed site was at Singara 11 degrees 32 and 76 degrees 36 e, 5.5 km miles southwest of Masinagudi in the Nilgiri Hills of South India. The site has been changed due to protests from environmental groups. 
The Eno will now be built 10 km east of Theni in southern India at 9 degrees 58 and 77 degrees 16 E Badi West Hills also known as Ambarapar Hills in Theni district, Tamil Nadu state. Participating institutes A Memorandum of Understanding Mo spelling out the operational aspects of the project and the mode of utilization of available funds was signed by seven primary project partners, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research TIFR, Mumbai, Baba Atomic Research Center BARC, Mumbai, Institute of Mathematical Sciences IMSC, Chennai, Saha Institute of Nuclear Physics SINP, Kolkata, Variable Energy Cyclotron Center VECC, Kolkata, Harish Chandra Research Institute HRI, Allahabad and Institute of Physics IOP, Bhubaneswar. Thirteen other project participants include, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh, Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi, Calcutta University CU, Kolkata, Delhi University DU, Delhi, University of Hawaii UHW, Hawaii, Himachal Pradesh University HPU, Shimla, Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay IITB, Mumbai, Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research IGCAR, Kalpakam, North Bengal University NBU, U, Siliguri, Panjab University, PU, Chandigarh, Physical Research Laboratory, PRL, Ahmedabad, Salim Ali Center for Ornithology and Natural History, SACON, Tamil Nadu, and Manipal Institute of Technology, Manipal. Topic: History and recent developments in the project. The possibility of a neutrino observatory located in India was discussed as early as 1989 during several meetings held that year. The issue was raised again in the first meeting of the Neutrino Physics and Cosmology Working Group during the Workshop on High Energy Physics Phenomenology held at Chennai in January 2000 and it was decided then to collate concrete ideas for a neutrino detector. Further discussions took place in August 2000 during a meeting on neutrino physics at the Saha Institute of Nuclear Physics, Kolkata, when a small group of neutrino physics enthusiasts started discussing the possibilities. The Neutrino 2001 meeting was held in the Institute of Mathematical Sciences, Chennai during February 2001 with the explicit objective of bringing the experimentalists and theorists in this field together. The ENO collaboration was formed during this meeting. The first formal meeting of the collaboration was held in the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, during 6 and 7 September 2001 at which various subgroups were formed for studying the detector options and electronics, physics goals and simulations, and site survey. In 2002, a document was presented to the Department of Atomic Energy, DAY, which laid out an ambitious goal of establishing an India-based neutrino observatory, outlining the physics goals, possible choices for the detector and their physics. Since then many new and fast-paced developments have taken place in neutrino physics. The award of the Nobel Prize in Physics 2002 to the pioneers in neutrino physics is a measure of the importance of this field. As a result of the support received from various research institutes, universities, the scientific community and the funding agency, the Department of Atomic Energy, a Neutrino Collaboration Group was established to study the possibility of building an India-based Neutrino Observatory The collaboration was assigned the task of doing the feasibility studies for which funds were made available by the day. A Memorandum of Understanding Mo was signed by the directors of the participating institutes on August 30, 2002 to enable a smooth functioning of the NCG during the feasibility period. The NCG has the goal of creating an underground neutrino laboratory with the long-term goal of conducting decisive experiments in neutrino physics as also other experiments which require such a unique underground facility. On the 20th of November 2009, Ministry of Environment India Minister Jiram Ramesh in a letter to Anil Kakodkar, Secretary, Department of Atomic Energy and Chairman, Atomic Energy Commission of India, denied permission for the Department of Atomic Energy to set up the India-based neutrino Observatory Eno project at Singara in Nilgiris, as it falls in the buffer zone of the Mudumalai Tiger Reserve MTR. 
Jiram Ramesh said that based on the report of Rajesh Gopal, additional Principal Chief Conservator of Forests PCCF and Member Secretary of the National Tiger Conservation Authority MSNTCA, the Ministry cannot approve the Singara site. The report says, The proposed project site falls in the buffer zone of Mudumalai Tiger Reserve and is in close proximity to the core, critical tiger habitats of Bondipur and Mudumalai Tiger Reserves. It is also an elephant corridor, facilitating elephant movement from the western ghats to the eastern ghats and vice versa. The area is already disturbed on account of severe biotic pressure due to human settlements and resorts and that the construction phase of the project would involve transport of building materials through the highways passing through the core area of the Bondipur and Mudmalai Tiger Reserves. Instead, he suggested an alternate site near Saruli Falls, Theni District in Tamil Nadu. The minister said this site did not pose the same problems that Singara posed and environmental and forest clearances should not be a serious issue. He also assured the day that the ministry would facilitate necessary approvals for the alternative location. Dr. Naba K. Mandal of the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, who is the spokesperson for the Eno project said, but Suraliar too is in a reserved forest area that is dense and would require cutting down of trees, something that was not required at Singara. Can the government assure us that forest clearance for this site will be given, he asks. Alternatively, we can move to the nearby Thavaram, which is about 20 to 30 kilometers away from the Suraliar Falls. This forest area has only shrubs but there is no source of water here and water will have to be piped over a distance of 30 kilometers. On 18 October 2010, the Ministry of Environment and Forests approved both environment and forest clearance for setting up the observatory in the Badi West Hills Reserved Forest in the Theni district of Tamil Nadu. As of February 2012, the land was allocated to the Eno collaboration by the government of Tamil Nadu and the excavation work was about to start. Naba K. Mandal, chief spokesperson of Eno Project and a senior scientist at the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, told the Hindu that the pre-project work will start in April 2012 and 66 crore rupees has been sanctioned for the work. The first task will be to have a road connectivity from Raisingapuram to Patapuram village. The project is expected to be completed in 2015 at an estimated cost of 1500 crore rupees on the 18th of September 2012. Kerala's octogenarian opposition leader and CPI M Central Committee member VS Achuthanandan expressed anxiety over establishing a neutrino observatory on the Theni Idukki border between Tamil Nadu and Kerala, citing environmental and radiological issues. Soon the Eno collaboration clarified on all the issues raised by him and the responses are on the Eno website. On 5 January 2015, Union Cabinet headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi approved to set up the India-based Neutrino Observatory Eno. .On 20 February 2015, the Southern Bench of National Green Tribunal ordered notices to the central and state governments on a petition challenging the environmental clearance granted to the India-based Neutrino Observatory Eno project. On 26 March 2015, the Madurai Bench of the Madras High Court restrained the central government from commencing the work on the proposed India-based Neutrino Observatory Eno. The court directed the government to get permission from the Tamil Nadu Pollution Control Board TNPCB before commencing the work. On 19 March 2018, Ministry of Environment India overturned the NGT verdict as a special case. The approval is only conditional and it needs the consent of the Tamil Nadu Pollution Control Board and the National Board for Wildlife. The approval was done under Category B of the Schedule to the Environmental Impact Assessment EIA Notification, 2006, but it should have been ideally been treated as Category A as the project lies just 4.9 km from an eco-sensitive national park. Additionally, EIA was done by the Salim Ali Center for Ornithology and Natural History, which is an unaccredited agency. Notes and references Topic. External links Vaco, Scrap Theni Neutrino Project India-based Neutrino Observatory official page A Question of Science Raja Sabha TV Gallery of photos at Eno Singara site Eno page at IMSC NBR Alliance page on the India-based Neutrino Observatory